All right, guys, we have a detail today. We have a Subaru Cross Trek. Uh, one of my clients, I've actually, I do this service about every four or five months. Um, they're pretty outdoorsy, so they do, you know, get a lot of work uh, on this vehicle. So uh, today it looks like deep interior, exterior, normal standard service. We might have to get a little bit deeper on the interior. Um, so, well, probably looking at about two and a half hours of work. Uh, so join us and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on the way. Perfect. Hey, Joel, so this car, what would you say, man? Is it pretty dirty or standard dirty? This is a little bit more than standard dirty. As you can see, there's a couple stains on the seats here. We have- um, You, you gonna know, try taking that out? Yeah, we're gonna get that out. Th those will come out very easily. Also, looks like there's actually staining on all the seats. Probably went on a road trip of some sort. Um, you know, the floor mats need a good cleanup. Uh, just some trash here. Most of the panels are pretty good. There's not a lot, of, it's a newer vehicle. I wanna say it's maybe two years old. I've been servicing it since they purchased it. You know, the back area is pretty, pretty bad. Um, you know, it looks like there's a couple spills. They've been transporting stuff in it. Under here, it looks like, you know, it needs, it needs some vacuuming. Oh, what's that white stuff, bro? Uh, I don't know if that's mold or it could be a couple of, it looks like some kind of powder because it's some there's some stuff there's residue oh, okay, of some okay. sort in here maybe like baking soda or something maybe there was a, a odor that they were trying to get rid of yeah that's what um, we'll call it bro. yeah well because we see it over here too right, so if it was mold it wouldn't be on the you know but um yeah more staining yeah okay. it's 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 it normally doesn't look like this so this is quite a bit so there's probably going to be i would probably say maybe an extra you know you got some spills through here so it's time for a detail i'd probably say i'm Price tag, we're probably looking at about 400 for this guy, 400. you know, inside and out. Exterior, we're just gonna do a wash, uh, wash and wax on the exterior with wheels and tires and wheel wells. And then um, interior, we're gonna get down on there. All right, so the customer is in here. No. She messaged you, said, hey, go start your thing. Let me know how much it's gonna be. Yes. When you get customers like that, do you let them know first or do you get started first? I get started, I knock it out. The, the, the relationship that I have with all my clients is based off of trust. So the clients are not gonna, they're not gonna dispute the pricing whether I give it to them up front or on the back end. This client let, already knows that it's gonna, that it's in more of a, you know, it's not in its normal condition. It's a little bit on the, on the bad side. So she knows there's gonna be an additional cost involved. So, and she trusts, you know, the work that I do and the, the value she's gonna get out of, out of the service that we're gonna provide. So um, leaving that in my hands, it's, you know, it's just a compliment as a business owner that people will actually give you the give you the the go ahead on okay well you set the pricing on the extras and you do what you got to do so we're going to do that like i said it's probably going to be about you know something like this i normally price at 349 to start off with it's a little bit extra we're probably going to do maybe a half hour so we'll we'll, we'll 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 mark it up to you know round it up to 400. Um, i think that's fair for the the small stain removal So for the people that don't know, how come you blow it first? Why not just start vacuuming? Uh, when you blow it, you're actually pushing the air into the carpet itself and you're you're separating all the stuff, getting all this, knocking everything out of the fibers and you're loosening everything up so it's on the surface. So when you do vacuum, it's coming up a lot easier.
I see you posting. Uh, I see you taking videos for yes. what? The gram? The gram. That's true. Now, gram. how come you post on the gram? Is it to get business? Is it for, you know? Uh, you know what? Sometimes I do it for business. It's like one of those things with social media. Once you have it, you kind of want to stay up on it. Mm. You know what I mean? It's, it's, I'm not. I don't get a lot of business from it. I did at the beginning. I'm not getting a ton of business from it now. But it is nice to show people your work on the gram. You know what I mean? Like you're just like, mm. hey, we're getting down, showing on the gram the stories. People, people like it. People like to see the process. There's certain things people like. You know, and, okay. and I think. You know the foam cannon, the drying process. Yeah. There's things that are exciting that you know the tools that we use. People, I think people enjoy the process. So, they what's go, your Instagram, Joel? Oh, they can follow me at uh, Details Auto. All right, put it in the description below. Yes. So there you have it, just finished up this Subaru. This thing got the full detail. This thing got the business, interior and exterior. If you guys have any tips or any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.